HLBZ may be in preparation for a continuation to the upside, but let's go ahead and go over these details. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, this is Arca coming at you from the kitchen with my toddler over here. So if he says hello, you know, he may uh, <laughs> say a really loud hello. So please don't mind him too much, you guys, as we're trying to uh, move through the analysis as best as we can with the very short time that we have available to us, right? So... Uh, yes, so this is uh, Saturday, January 21st, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at some technicals, raw price action, and statisticals, uh, and statistics, sorry, for HLBZ. Okay, you guys, so before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called RCAP. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so we're looking at HLBZ on the 12-hour chart here, and this is particular. this chart is in particular to the to the live stream uh, chart that we were looking at, uh, you know, prior to these events. So, uh, yes, we actually broke out of a falling wedge and we have made the upside that it was actually suggesting, okay? So what I mean by a price objective or suggestion is actually uh, found this way, okay? Take a trend line from the top area of the triangle to the lowest area of the triangle, right? And then you apply it to the point of breakout, which would be this candle here, right at about uh, 1381, okay? So in applying it to that point there, you can actually see that the suggestion was taking us right to the four spot 618 at 3201, of which we just barely surpassed and actually faced that rejection as per expected, okay? So this was my third target that I gave on that live stream, and uh, we did meet it very nicely, okay? Okay, so it was also indirect confluence uh, with this uh, candle iteration from November 28th, 2022 that we actually did look at as well. Okay, so this is following a geometrical uh, format. So let's go ahead and now move on to the next chart and see what we have. This is actually going to be the statistical side of the analysis. Okay, so why statistical? Um, so first of all, for the new viewers, this is volatility that you're looking at here represented by this indicator BBWP. Volatility is direction neutral. In order for us to gauge a bias for direction, we actually pair it with momentum uh, or a momentum indicator. Okay, so in this case, we're pairing it with stochastic momentum, which is uh, uh, which is standard to uh, TradingView software. Okay, well, oh, by the way, you guys, I'm actually an accepted affiliate to TradingView, so you starting up in um, you starting up an account with TradingView would actually greatly help out my future. So please go ahead and uh, take a look at the links in the description below. Okay, you guys, so now, per the back test of volatility, okay, we're looking at, uh, let's see, any time that volatility has expanded into the 90 percentile, which is, uh, which is critical volatility in my opinion, we have actually started a contraction phase every single time, or most of the time, that price action has made an upside move. Okay, so what I am looking for basically is actually, uh, is, is actually the this criteria uh, volatility to enter the critical volatility zone which is within the 90 percentile and alongside sorry the stochastic momentum averages pitched to the upside okay so when we do get the when we do get that upside of the of the momentum and then we have that critical expansion within volatility we actually can uh, make a measurement, okay? So this this is now the iterations that you're looking at throughout the entire trading history of HLBZ on the eight-hour chart in particular, okay? So what we're looking at right now are one and two iterations to where the the downs of, I'm sorry, the upside was guessed incorrectly. So let's go ahead and look at this now. Out of the total nine iterations throughout the entire trading history of HLBZ on the eight-hour chart in particular, we have seven iterations that were guessed correctly, giving us an averaged upside accuracy of 77 spot 78 percent with an averaged upside thrust of 22 spot 59 percent over the span of just 3.95 days. This is proof of work right over here, okay? So what that is telling us is that we may see an upside within the next four days, okay? So and why is this a possibility? Well, first of all, it's giving us a possibility because the iterations are, I'm sorry, the firing of the signal has essentially already happened, okay? And this is uh, uh, particular to, let's see, let's see, let's just go ahead and gauge exactly when. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Okay, so the, wow, yeah, so the signal actually fired upon this candle here, okay? So now let's just go ahead and measure what that has done thus far for us, okay? So let's see. 
let's just take a look right over here and bring up our measuring tool and see what it has done okay so upon the opening of this candle uh, we have already made a 140 percent move to the upside okay so this is a prime example of how statistics are just are, are just stats they are not certainties okay so it's just for us to evaluate potential targets within the range okay so we were just we were just looking at uh, a 22 spot five nine percent move to the upside so if we're curious as to where we closed we closed at about 61 spot 83 percent this doesn't mean well officially the the back test of volatility versus momentum means that we've actually met that target and this is officially done but please do notice that volatility is still within the critical percentile and momentum is still suggesting a continuation to the upside which is incredibly important okay let's go ahead and move on to the last part of the analysis and this is actually going to be the rsi okay so if you can take a look right over here the 30 minute rsi is suggesting a continuation to the downside however we are looking at some support right now but not by not only the 14 day simple moving average which is the pink line and uh Okay, by not only that average, but also the cra the gravitational zone of the bull weakness percentile. Okay, so there is an upside to be expected within this as well. Okay, let's look at the, bu the buy hourly. All right, so the buy hourly is telling us that there is a downside continuation, but please do notice that uh, it would be a very limited downside, okay, as the 14-day simple moving average is right below us. Now, uh, the six-hour time frame is suggesting a continuation to the upside, and it has bounced from that gravitational zone rejecting the bear weakness percentile and now well within the grips of the bull strength okay so now now let's go ahead and look at the daily time frame the daily time frame is is suggesting an aggressive upside using that 14 day simple moving average as that support line please remember that the purple line is your rsi signal okay so now uh let's see the three day RSI is suggesting also aggressive upside and now sitting just outside of the gravitational zone, which means that the downside is a little less likely in the three day time frame. All right. So now the five day time frame is now suggesting an aggressive upside as well. OK, so as long as these uh, momentum averages are all pitched and pivoted towards the upside, then the upside is more than likely uh, going to happen. Okay, so now if we're looking for a reaccumulation period based on the suggestions of the immediate short term time frame downside, we can actually see that we can uh, come right back to. Uh, I'm going to be very discretionary about this, okay, because I don't have a back test of volatility versus momentum to the downside for HLBZ or on this time frame, okay, so I am trading this on the 12 hour, okay. Please know I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos is just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets, okay? Do your own DD and everything will be just fine, okay, you guys? So now, let's look at those retracement targets, okay? Very much in relevance right now. We have the 2 spot 618, which could be very well used at that 2392 zone, but to be perfectly perfectly honest and also again please remember that this is in a very discretionary manner that we can actually look at the two spot 272 at 2254 cents before finding that bounce to the upside okay so if we're gonna do that i am expecting that wick down to about the two spot 272 at 2254 followed by even a potential wick down to 2154 or 1990 this would be uh, this would be in a sense, a flash wick, similar to these wicks right up here, okay, except to the downside, okay, we can we can literally come back down to these areas right here for reaccumulation before a continuation to the upside, okay, you guys, so that is what I'm looking for on HLBZ. If you feel compelled to reach out to me, please make sure to uh, refer to the links in the description below. You'll find the Twitter and the Discord membership there as well, okay? TradingView software is also something that I'm using here, you guys. So if you want to consider helping me out, definitely start an account with TradingView as it will uh, help out my trading future, okay? Okay, you guys. But with that said, I wish you well, a very good night, and a great rest of, we uh, of your weekend. And I will catch you at the bell on Monday. Adios.